Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Evening. Yeah, my name is uh, Sydney Silumboy. I'm the section manager from equipment department. So I'll be doing the presentation for equipment department. Equipment department is the department that is responsible for carrying out uh, maintenance uh, works on plant equipment to ensure that uh, to keep the equipment in good condition, uh, therefore maximizing the availability and hence ensuring smooth production. Uh, imagine a situation where uh, all the critical uh, equipment in the plants, they are down. What will happen to production? Of course, production will be, yeah, will be suspended. So this uh, department is a very critical department for the company. Yeah, so before we proceed, I just want us to go, go through some keywords. Number one, this is the corrective uh, maintenance. It means uh, repairing of uh, equipment. Then there is uh, preventive maintenance. To prevent is to stop something from happening. So these are the activities that we do to prevent equipment from failing. Then there is uh, predictive maintenance. Predictive is to anticipate to anticipate if something is going to happen then there is uh, a maintenance schedule or rather a maintenance plan this is the document that would outline how a project will be executed then we we'll have a safe working procedure this is the document that will outline the steps that will be taken to execute a task safely <clears throat> then there's installation. Installation, of course, is just to put something. Then commissioning. Commissioning is uh, authorization of a newly okay, product to put it into operation. Then procurement is uh, obtaining goods and services that the company uses for various operations. Yeah. Then fitting. Fitting is basically dismantling and assembling processes. Yeah. Then fabrication. To fabricate is to, is to manufacture, to make something. Yeah. Then arc welding, arc welding, TIG welding. These are uh, some of the welding techniques. Then for the MIG, this type of welding is faster than arc welding. Then gouging. Gouging welding. Gouging is basically to, to, make, uh, to make a hole or, or like to remove some materials on a on a surface. Then scaffolding, basically this is, uh, this is uh, an elevated platform that uh, people who are working on heights. Then machining, this is basically the removal of uh, material from a certain component so that you manufacture. Then brick mason, these are refractory repairing works. Then uh, risk assessment, uh, basically, this is a document that would uh, outline the risks associated with the certain tasks that we're about to do. Then we've got the hot work permit. The hot work permit, this is an authorization document that we issue to maintenance uh, personnel that are required to do a given task that uh, produces, uh, generates heat, maybe in form of fire. Then confined space permit. It's similar to the hot work permit. This type of work uh, permit is issued to employees are working in a limited or restricted uh, area. Then the work at height is also similar to this, but this one is a permit that is issued to personnel that are working on heights. Then there is also the lifting or work permit. Okay, this normally uses uh, when we are rigging something, when we are lifting something. Then operation permit for temporary uh, electricity. I think this is an isolation permit. So for equipment department, in order for the department to achieve its uh, objective, it performs the following functions. Uh, it, uh, it repairs equipment to accept, uh, acceptable standard, which is the corrective uh, maintenance. Then it carries out periodic preventive maintenance. It carries out predictive maintenance. It performs plant maintenance shutdown. Uh, installation and commissioning of new equipment, hiring of contractors and supervising of their works, procurement of spare parts, tools and equipment, testing of statutory equipment, training of maintenance personnel in order to improve their level of skill and improve the effectiveness and efficiency of the department. A corrective maintenance. Then uh, we've got uh, various types of equipment that we do repair, like pumps, as you can see in the in the picture there, there's a pump, water pump, there's the, the crusher there, a trivet crusher, the poking machine. 
and all these are critical machines that support our production. Then we've got the preventive maintenance. Okay, these are uh, main types of maintenance that uh, are performed uh, periodically. Then we've got predictive maintenance. Uh, this is the type of maintenance, okay, that is carried out to monitor the condition of the equipment that are in operation. When carrying out the predictive maintenance, the parameters that we monitor are the vibrations, the vibrations, the temperatures, and also the noise. So from there, we'll be able now to, to know if the machine is performing well or if it's not well. Then the other type of maintenance that we do is the shutdown maintenance. This is the type of maintenance that we do, okay, when the plant is not running. You know, certain uh, corrective uh, and preventive maintenance jobs, they can't be done when the plant is running. Equipment installation, as a department we also do some equipment installation, then hiring of uh, contractors. Yeah, of course, in the, in the plant there are so many projects. I think as a department, with the limited manpower that we have, I think we are not able to do all the jobs. So some of the jobs we do subcontract. Then procurement of spares. Okay, as a department, we have to ensure that we engage reliable suppliers yeah, to supply us with uh, durable and high-quality spares for our equipment so as to support production. Then not only that, we are also responsible for buying uh, critical equipment such as loaders, uh, forklifts and slug carriers. As you can see in the picture, this was the new slug carrier that we, that we bought and it was recently delivered to the plant and we called the the government inspectors the MST inspectors to come and inspect it and commissioned it so that they allow us to now use it for operations as a department we conduct some trainings organizing trainings for our maintenance personnel so as to improve their level of skill so as to improve on our the efficiency of the department and we've got two types of uh, trainings that we do yeah they are in-house uh, they are external and internal then apart from the uh, career development trainings we also do the safety trainings on the safety part okay as a department we have to enforce on the safe working practices so as to prevent accidents at our workplace and these are some of the things that we do one, we provide appropriate PPE for our maintenance personnel. Then we have to conduct risk assessments. Then also the newly recruited employees, they also undergo safety trainings before they can start their work. Then for the statutory equipment, it's the responsibility of the department to test the statutory equipment like the cranes, the steam boilers, to comply with the mining regulation that requires us to be testing this uh, equipment to ensure that they are in good condition so as to safeguard the safety of the people around yeah so each year like for example we have to test our boiler to ensure that it's yeah it doesn't cause harm to the even the cranes we test them annually the maintenance sections okay so the maintenance has got uh, various sections where we do our operations from. One, we've got the fitting shop. And then two, we've got the fabrication and machine shop. We've got the old fabrication shop. We've got the lance pipe workshop. We've got the ladders workshop. We've got the brick masonry section. We've got the scaffolding and sheeting section. So this is uh, the fitting shop. This is the location where maintenance personnel they repair various equipments. Uh, you know, when uh, in the plant when equipments fail, okay, we can't repair them from the plant. They have to be taken to the workshop. Then the fabrication workshop. So this is the workshop where boiler makers and welders they perform various welding activities such as arc welding, T welding, and and uh, MIG welding techniques. At the fabrication workshop, this is where we perform uh, various routine jobs, uh, critical jobs like uh, fabrication of uh, uh, electrodes for the old electric furnace and reduction furnace the feeder pot covers for the launders, the closing discs for the tapping holes, and we also perform uh, other, other tasks like fabrication of transformers, screens, 
Okay, pipe bends. Let me just show you the picture and some of the examples that we do. As you can see in the picture there, our welder was welding the fabricated uh, furnace electrode there. Then down there, this is the feeder bin sieve for the feeding plant. Our boiler makers, they were cutting some material using the, the guillotine machine that was installed by, by us. Then these were the oxygen silencers. Yeah, these are the machines that are found in the fabrication workshop. The, ro the rolling machine, the punching machine, the guillotine machine. Then we've got the machine shop. In the machine shop, this is where we, we manufacture various machine uh, components that are used in the plant. And we use the machine tools. Machine tools, these are tools that uh, uses some sort of uh, tools to cut the raw material into the desired shape by controlling the uh, material removal process. Our artisans in the machine shop, they also perform a lot of jobs. They also make timbers for anode furnace. They make shafts for the, for the poking machine uh, speed reducers. They make wedges for the copper jackets, the wedges for the copper jackets for the electric furnace, and they also perform other, other jobs that are required. Maybe in the plant, maybe we need to do some modifications in the plant, then it requires some machining job. Instead of taking the job outside, our team of machinists to do that job. And they also perform general machining tasks in the machine workshop. There's a lathe machine there, okay, there's a milling machine, then uh, this is the shaper then we've got also this the boring machine then we've got the old fabrication workshop this is the workshop where we fabricate heavy duty components heavy duty components okay like the ducts you see these these components are very big we can't uh, fabricate them in the fabrication workshop next uh, this is the lance pipe i think this is the heart of the isa it works in the very high high temperature environment so it's time it to get worn out so it's our responsibility as the maintenance department to to do some repair works by cutting off the worn out parts and joining and welding the of the new components. We also do the, the assembly of the new of the new lance pipes. We also perform some other stainless cutting jobs. The brick masonry team, okay, this is also one of our key key section. Another important section that we have is the Lado, Lado workshop. In the Lado workshop, this is where we repair Lados, slug Lados and mass Lados. Then the last section, we've got, uh, we've got the scaffolding section. This is responsible for erecting and dismantling of the scaffolds. You know, certain jobs in the plant, they are required to be performed uh, at height. Like for example, plant guys, maybe they need to do some cleanings, maybe at the height, so they would require a scaffold okay then not only that they are also responsible for the replacement of roofing sheets and also fabrication of the roofing sheets i think i end here <laughs> yeah.